This tutorial will go over how to optimize your Game Boy Player for use with the RetroTINK 4K. As with other tutorials in this series, the RetroTINK 4K is an advanced scaler and you should read up on more information to learn how to use it. I'm linking the GameCube section of the RetroTINK 4K wiki so you can read on. This video and that wiki section use information taken directly from the Game Boy Player wiki which will be linked in the description. This tutorial requires a modded GameCube that runs a Game Boy interface and a GC Video HDMI adapter. You can find the settings to use for this type of GameCube in the previous video and the previous sections. If you wish to use your original Game Boy Player disc, you can follow the instructions for discs in the previous video as this makes use of Game Boy Interface. Game Boy Interface is homebrew for the GameCube that allows you to play Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games on a big screen without using the Game Boy Player disc, with many options that can help you get sharp picture out of your Game Boy Player. Follow Extrem's instructions to install Game Boy Interface on the main Game Boy Interface page, which will be linked in the description. To start, make sure your Swiss and GameCube are both optimized for the RetroTANK 4K. The previous video goes over which settings to turn on, but you'll want to follow the video starting from the section about GC video. You can follow through until the end regarding settings for Swiss. The important things to remember is to turn off fixed resolution in GC video and set optimize for RetroTANK 4K to yes in Swiss. Once you do that and you've got GBI installed, you will want to load up the version of GBI called GBI HF RT4K HDMI. Once you load this, do the following regardless of whether you're playing a Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance game. Go into the HDMI receiver setup menu. Set input pixels to 2, 422 up sampler to nearest, input range to RGB limited. Next, go into the scaling menu. Set vertical prescale to 1 half, Set aspect correction to 1 to 1 square pixels. Change scaling mode from auto fill to auto fill integer. Now that this is set, you may want to set your color correction to the type of game you're playing. Make your way to the color correction menu and select apply preset. Make your way to the Game Boy interface folder and select Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance depending on the console you're playing. You are now finished with setting up the RetroTINK 4K for use with the Game Boy Player. Enjoy your games.